midst of a fierce smallpox pandemic in October of 1768, Empress Catherine II was the first in Russia to vaccinate herself against this terrible disease. At that time, inoculation was done using the variolation method. Several cuts were made on the arm of the patient, and a tiny amount of the smallpox virus from an infected person would be inserted. Of course, some people inoculated this way also died of smallpox, but the chance of death was 20 times less compared to dying from the disease itself. Empress Catherine studied this method thoroughly and finally chose a doctor who would perform the variolation, the Englishman Dr. Thomas Dimsdale, who arrived in St. Petersburg that past summer. At that point, many people were already infected at court and some had died. A six-year-old peasant boy named Sasha Markov became the donor of smallpox material for the Empress. He was brought to the palace at night and Catherine was injected with a virus from his infected lymph. The next morning, the Empress left for Tsarskoye Silo. For several days, she didn't feel any side effects. But five days later, she developed chills, fever, and swollen glands. A few pockmarks appeared, which burst, darkened, and disappeared. Catherine lost her appetite and had a constant headache. Finally, a week later, at the end of October, the Empress was completely cured and the people were informed about everything. Shortly after that, the 14-year-old Grand Duke Pavel Petrovich was inoculated the same way. Eventually, some years later, his own wife and their elder sons went through smallpox variolation as well. The boy, Sasha Markov, recovered and was granted a title of nobility, his family coat of arms depicting a bear arm with a pockmark, and, and he received the prefix to his surname, Ospini, which means smallpox. From then on, the smallpox vaccination method was used all over Russia. The disease weakened every year and was eventually completely defeated. Empress Catherine the Great, having decided to volunteer as a subject of such a risky experiment, set a brilliant example for her subjects. The Senate adapted a decree of thanksgiving to the Empress and the heir for the magnanimous and famous feat to the well-being of their subjects by inoculating smallpox and establishing a celebration on the 21st day of November every year. This decree emphasized the outstanding role of the imperial family in the dissemination of important medical practices and ordered an annual celebration to commemorate this. On November 22nd, senators, state staff, and deputies gathered in the Cathedral Church of the Nativity on the site where Kazan Cathedral now stands where the decree was read after a mass. Catherine strove for the widest possible application of the smallpox vaccination. Vaccines became mandatory for pupils of state educational institutions, in particular cadet court. In order to encourage parents to vaccinate children against smallpox, an award of one ruble in silver was introduced for each child who underwent the procedure. Even a table medal was created to commemorate the introduction of smallpox vaccination in Russia on October 12, 1768. For over a century, Catherine's direct descendants and subjects alike were all inoculated for smallpox. From Nicholas II's 1916 diary, 11th June, went to Malebna at 10 o'clock with everyone in light of Olga's name day. Alex stayed in the train until breakfast, read and by 8 o'clock went to the train. Everyone got vaccinated against smallpox. Alexei got a headache and towards the evening his temperature rose to 38.4. From Tarevich Alexei's 1916 diary, 11-24 July, Monday, 
Today, Mama, my sisters and I were vaccinated against smallpox. We got to the train in the evening. I had a headache when we arrived. Temperature 38.2. I went to bed early. In the year 1980, the World Health Organization announced the complete eradication of smallpox on the planet. The victory over smallpox is one of the greatest achievements of human civilization. One of the important stages in this path was the Romanov Imperial Inoculation of Catherine the Great, the gift she made to herself and the Russian society during the Age of Enlightenment.